Okay, so my solid state drive has finally arrived. Uh, I got a two day shipping, uh, second day air from mwave.com. And, uh, well, this is pretty exciting. I paid through the nose for this. Uh, it feels like there's nothing in here whatsoever. Um, I paid over $200 for this, which is completely idiotic. But, it's the last thing I could possibly upgrade on my MacBook considering everything else has been topped off. Uh, the reason I paid so much for this is because it is the Intel SSD uh, top of the line. Currently is the fastest, uh, well, one of the, I believe it's one of the fastest SSDs out there. So let's get started. Like I said, it feels like there's absolutely nothing in here. It's it's not even a pound. Hopefully they sent me the drive and not the box. If I can get this thing open, defeated by a box. must be a real idiot because I can't figure out how to open this thing. There we go. Packing peanuts, yay! Okay, here it is. A box in a box. I'm recovering from the flu, so I apologize. Smallest box ever for what I paid for it. Okay, so here's the Intel installation, installation guide. Boring. Okay, so let's bring this down. And there it is. My SSD rocks. Wow, that's a fascinating uh, sticker. Faster, lower power, better performance. So here it is. Inside its packaging. Now what's incredible about this this drive is that not only is there no moving parts but it's like they had to they it it's so small it's almost like they had to put this piece of plastic on top of there to make it fit so it's almost like they didn't have a size issue you know making it too small they had a size issue making it big enough to fit uh this is the uh let's see SSD SA2M080G2GC uh, Generation 2 um, Generation C so this is the fast the new uh, generation <clears throat> so now comes the unfortunate part where I have to take my MacBook completely apart again and because I'm running dual hard drives, I have to swap swap my uh, hard drives around. I have to take the hard drive that's currently in my SATA connection and put it in the optical drive bay, and then the SSD will go in the SATA connection. It's it's a real pain in the ass. But when all, when it's all said and done, I'll have an SSD in my main data connection and a standard hard drive in the optical bay. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. This drive is rated for 270 megabytes per second read and I believe over 100 megabytes per second write. Um, because I have a SATA 1 connector, I'm only going to top out at about 150 megabytes per second at max. 
um, but this drive is future proof so when I do upgrade my Mac this bad boy will go with me um, not much to say yet until I get that thing installed so hold tight and I will have benchmarks and all sorts of information on my site so thanks for watching okay so right now I've got the MacBook torn apart I've got my 320 gig hard drive in the optical bay um, once again the electrical tape is for sound dampening not for holding the hard drive in place so don't say oh my god you taped it in there don't want to get those emails um, so there's the hard drive that I did have this is just a 60 gig temporary drive and now this 80 gig Intel is going to take this place and I'm going to have a hybrid standard disk drive and solid state drive so when I resume this video I should have it all together so wish me luck okay so I'm going to demo the <clears throat> Intel X25M generation 2 in the MacBook 2 gigahertz Intel Core Duo, 2 gigs of RAM. This is a three year old MacBook. So just around 33 seconds, um, had my brightness turned all the way down. So there it is, ready to go, all booted up, all my emails. I recently reset Little Snitch, so I've got uh, to let all these things get set up. But there you go. <clears throat> So once again, 2 gigahertz, um, Core Duo, not Core 2, Core Duo, first generation MacBook, um, running the Intel X25M, I believe that's the name of it, generation 2. Uh, you can pick it up on mwave.com. It's kind of pricey, but as you can see, it's breathed new life into, into my MacBook. So thanks for watching.